then you could tell us how things are shaping up for this morning mm, Kolyo, i think you should have been here and i think you would have had a lot of words to describe the situation in fact right in front of me there are five soldiers with, with a sniff dog who have been sniffing around the entire precincts of parliament and for those of you listening this parliamentary sitting since the house we convened last week has been held at the doom of the Accra international conference center that is where the, the, the citizens have been held. That, the, the, the dome has been turned into a makeshift parliamentary timber. And so five soldiers in front of me, there are about six others who are also all around the place inside the timber trying to make sure that everything is in order. In fact, that is not the normal occurrence in parliament. It is not normally the military who come around and ensure that the security is in place. But this time around, given the high stakes that we've had um, since that declaration by the speaker and this morning, it has been a bit understandable that they are here. In fact, I've just seen them. They are also going in the gate with the snake dog to the public gallery as well as where the media sit. And they are going in there with their commander. Early on, the allegation that was made by the minority was that, in fact, the NDC, uh, the MPP MP, had been allowed to enter the chamber. And in fact, there was a circular yesterday by the marshal to parliament indicating that the House was not going to open his doors till 8 o'clock a.m. this morning. The NEC MPs say, contrary to this, the NPP MPs were allowed into the chamber. And that has been confirmed. The NPP MPs have not denied it. I've spoken to Abib Idrisu on the joining channel a while ago. He said that it was not because any security officer opened the door for them. They came here at quick on the majority side, the NDP side, went into the chamber to see the arrangement. Is what they left here on Thursday. And that is if they are still on the majority side to ensure that everything is in charge. And he did go in there with Frank and Adam, his chief whip, and one other NPP MP. They went in there, they saw that everything was fine. And then when the soldiers came in and said that they were screening the place to ensure that the place was in order, they came out. As we speak, they are standing right across the, 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 the street, and they are just in front of the big ship. There are also about a dozen NDC MPs, led also by the chief whip, Governor Kwame Aguja, who are already here. In fact, I see a number of them coming, including Dr. Rashid Purple, who... Of course, we understand are ready to go in there and occupy the majority seat. But as we speak, there are no NDC or NPP MPs within the chamber of the House. All of them have been asked to come out because of their ongoing screening by the, the Ghana Armed Forces um, armed men together with snake dogs who've gone in there to, to ensure that the, the, the chamber is safe for MPs to go in there. Yesterday, or in fact Sunday, the NDC did allege that the government was planning to deploy soldiers here Already this morning, there are soldiers here. It is not clear they are going to be here throughout the city. Or just like they've done this morning, they are going to use the slave dogs to check the precincts and then they will leave. That is the situation as people do understand. But both sides really ready to go in there and occupy the majority side, which will set the stage for the chaos, like you see, like you saw on the midnight on the 7th of January 2021, when Urban Bagwin was elected Speaker of Parliament. Wow. Right. So, uh, so far... What we are seeing are military officers and sniffer dogs. Any signs yes. of the marshals? No, the marshal department, the, the other officers of the marshal department are here. The marshal himself is not here, neither are his two deputies. They have not been here this morning since I've been here around 6, um, 10 a.m. They have not been here. But the marshal officers are here. There are a number of police officers who are also here, as well as the military. In fact, the security situation has been tightened really much. As soon as you enter from the conference center, you will see a roadblock manned by a couple of police officers who blocked that space completely. And so when you come in there, they will check your ID. They will ensure, ensure that you have to be here already. Today, the public gallery has been closed to the public. It means no member of the public who is not a journalist or a staff of parliament can come here. And so that is part of the measures that have been put in place for what has been expected to be a really chaotic setting today. So when you come in there, you see that roadblock. And when you come close to it, then you see a few more policemen. You see a few other military men who are also with their slave dogs outside the chamber of parliament. There is also a number of slave dogs with military men who have also gone into the chamber as we speak now. Then a number of NPP and NDC MPs who are already standing outside waiting for the chamber to open. Then they will all go in and occupy the seats that they wish to occupy. If anything that I'm seeing here is to go by... We have three NPP MPs here. Frank cannot have plenty for some to You know, I also have um, Habib Idris, who MP for Tolon, and then the Deputy Energy Minister and MP for Mpoho, John Abam Sani, um, Kojoya, uh, Winston Amo is very good friend. Three of that NPP MPs already here, right in front 
of the chamber. And then there are about a dozen other NDC MPs, 12 of them, who are also standing right in front of the chamber. And so when the parliament chamber is open, we would expect that all of them will go in there and try to occupy the majority seats of the House. We understand more MPP MPs and more NDC MPs will come. And there will clearly be a battle of the fittest. If none of them drop their entrenched position to go in there and occupy the majority seat, it's currently three against about 12 on the NDC mm. side. <laughs> wow. Now, Kwegu, uh, do we know on whose instruction the military uh, is uh, you know, present in Parliament today? Well, in fact, I did go close to the person who seemed to be commanding the military officer. Tower. He's also a military man. He did not speak to me. In fact, I was live on TV. I beg on him a little bit, and they wanted to ask him a few questions. He will not answer any questions to me. In fact, some of the minority MPs have also been asking and demanding the same, and they say they've not been given any answers as to what exactly is being done. I only heard this commanding officer telling um, one NDC MP that this is an arrangement that we have with Parliament to do this, but for as long as I've been reporting in Parliament, I have never seen on a morning like this military men with slave dogs coming in here to check the place. Maybe it happens before I come here, but I have never seen that. And some of these NDC MPs, some of them who have been in Parliament for three, four, five times, have been expressing surprise at the development. Let's see. Mm. when it comes to doing parliamentary business, it is the BASA and sometimes some police officers, and in fact the Parliamentary Protection Unit, which is an entire unit of police officers stationed in Parliament, that have been taking charge of the security. And so some of them are really surprised mm -hmm. that the military are coming in there. We saw those things on the midnight of 7 January when about two dozen armed men entered the chamber. Obviously, we changed out at the time, but the NDC MPs who kept shouting away, 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 and who were clearly not enthused about that situation. But ultimately, these things uh, have been repeating today, this morning, with a number of military men already around. We do not know if they will only do this traffic exercise and leave, or they are going to stay for the long haul. I see a military vehicle. I see National Dog Academy, Ghana Police, Ghana Military Police. The station right at the entrance of the timber. There is another military vehicle with a one star on it. It's also stationed right in front mm. of the timber. So many two military cars right here. A number of military officers. Some of them inside. Some of them outside. We are yet to get some answers, and we'll be seeking to get them when the master to Parliament himself come in here. Mm. What exactly has necessitated this? Are they aware? of the coming of the military are they the ones who commissioned the military to be here also just right. gone by i've just seen one of the advanced vehicles of the speaker of parliament coming the, the the security detail of the speaker of parliament they really came in about a while ago with the land cruiser they've mm -hmm. also now just left they just came to survey the place for about a minute or two and then just immediately drove out of the of the of the, of the chamber mm -hmm. we expect sitting to start very early today fingers are closed around the speakers um, office as to what exactly the speaker may be intending to do. Yesterday, he did post a cryptic message on social media that Ghana is bigger than any institution or any other person. It is really mm. left to interpretation. But what exactly will the Speaker of Parliament be willing to do this morning when he comes in? That is something that he is keeping very close to his head. Officers around him are not willing to give out any information. Yeah. It's a very tensious situation.